you may find yourself needing to edit the timing of your closed captions. Let's take a look at how we approach that process. While it might seem counterintuitive and hard to force yourself to do at first, one suggestion might be to completely ignore the text inside of the captions and instead focus on spacing the captions themselves evenly throughout the audio track. You don't want any single caption to be too short or too long, so you're looking for a relatively uniform length. This might mean using the split caption button if you find that some of them are longer than others. Since it can seem a little bit like a traffic jam trying to adjust the spacing of the captions, another recommendation is to start from the end or back of the timeline and work your way towards the beginning or front. If you've used the replace audio method, you will often find there is space at the end of the timeline because the actual audio narration is usually longer in duration than the text-to-speech narration was. Working your way from right to left might make things a little easier in terms of spacing captions out. Finally, since you're not able to copy and paste from the notes panel into the closed caption editor window, it may help to have the script in another document. That way, as you listen to each of the captions, you can simply copy and paste the text that matches what you hear into the correct place. We hope you now feel more comfortable editing closed captions and that you learned a few things to speed up that process.